Hey, this is Mike with the Florida Public Archaeology Network, and I'm in downtown Pensacola. As you can see, the weather isn't so great right now. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is some of the archaeology that we're seeing on the surface. This uh, is a construction site uh, downtown where they had to, to, looks like they had to dig up um, some drainage uh, pipes and, and probably some other things as well. And I was walking by here and I noticed that there are several different artifacts uh, exposed in some of this rubble. There's some glassware over here. There's some more glass. This is probably window glass right there. Um, even a, there's a pull tab. I don't, I don't know if you can see, that's actually a pull tab right there. Uh, and more glass right there from a glass bottle. You have some over here. This is probably older. It looks to me from here, it looks like it's older glass as well. Uh, and I even saw some ceramics. So I'll see if I can walk over here and show you where I saw some ceramics at this site. Coming over here, as you can see, exposed. Ah, yeah, right here. So you see some oyster shell right there. Um, and then right here, you can see a, a ceramic. And I'll have to get a closer look to, to, to see exactly what uh, time period it might come from. So I just wanted to show you all some of the things that are just right underneath the surface of uh, Pensacola's ground that represents all the different history that we've had in this city that's been here uh, for thousands of years uh, in terms of pre-colonial Native American settlements, but uh, since these early 1700s for in terms of the colonial settlement. You can see down here, uh, this is a brick. You can see that kind of swirl pattern, which means that it's a uh, handmade brick. It's probably fairly old. And then over here again, more uh, pottery. So this is just kind of laying all around. Uh, that's why it's important that um, anytime ground is disturbed, especially in a historic area that at least some archaeology can be done or some type of site monitoring before before it gets taken out of context and uh, we lose that information. It's too bad. And this is pretty cool. So this is actually even outside the construction site. This large piece of ceramic right here. This large ceramic right here was just sitting right here. So it's a pretty good size one. And over here on this side you see Right here, this uh, black glass, this is hand-blown glass. This is exactly what this is. Down here, we have what looks to be uh, part of a handle to some type of cup. Right there. On all sorts of other stuff, I see bone in here. Uh, I even found a couple bricks, uh, just, just from what I can observe from the sidewalk that actually have the name of the brick manufacturing companies on them, which is really nice because it can really help you get a good date of, of the brick when they have those their names stamped on them. Okay, this is really interesting too. I saw this just sitting here just like this, and it looks to me like it was part of a, a locking mechanism at one point. It's metal, so it's amazing. When you have old cities uh, like Pensacola or other ones around the entire state, um, anytime the ground is disturbed, there's a good chance that artifacts and archaeological sites will be impacted underneath it. Uh, with that said, I did not actually collect anything on site, uh, just from what I could observe from the sidewalk. So, you know, never, never go out and collect on someone's property without having permission. In fact, you, you know, really just shouldn't do it at all, uh, especially if it's on state land. You definitely don't want to collect anything because there are laws that protect state and federal lands. But, um, you know, this is... This is what's underneath your feet when you're walking downtown Pensacola.